What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man, look. All right, man, look. Triple G, possible fight with Munguia. Mexican Independence Day, September 14th, it's fall. The zone. Not bad. Let's talk about this. Munguia never fought at 160 before the junior middleweight uh, WBO title holder. Beats Saddam Ali's undefeated. Knockout power. High KO percentage. Beat Liam Smith and Brandon Cook. Got a gift against Hogan. His last fight. Remember that? In Mexico. Defense not so good. Hands down. Head doesn't move. That's how Hogan was hitting him with that overhand right over and over again. That overhand right over and over again. That overhand right. Perfect for Triple G. Triple G. Why take Munguia? September. That's Canelo's date. Oh, Canelo. Ah, bum me. Need some time off. Get that. Which is why I didn't understand Danny Jacobs. I saw Danny Jacobs, he broke the rehydration clause. Hey, if you're going to come in bigger, use it. Not just jab and move. Way down on him. Push him around. Have him depend on that knee to keep him up. Stressed that knee a little bit. He didn't do it. Took a loss. As far as Triple G fighting Munguia on that date, we know Munguia's Mexican. That's fine. I guess that's the driving. Ah. It was Canelo Alvarez and Oscar De La Hoya who said, Triple G, get a belt first. I know who has a belt. On the zone. Big fight. Bigger than this one. Demetrius Andre. Yeah, you guessed it. Triple G. Why not take him? Oh, the fans aren't happy. Is Triple G ducking? Is he ducking? Here's the thing about Triple G. You look at his legacy and his career. God, what a fighter he is. But his legacy tarnished. Why? His resume. He did beat Danny Jacobs. So did Canelo. He beat him, though. Danny Jacobs. Been beat before. Good fighter. Did he do what Canelo did to move up and fight Triple G? And then talk about moving up to fight Kovalev. Uh-uh. He stayed at middleweight. He could have moved up. He could have fought Andre Ward. No, instead, stayed put. Andre Ward moved up, fought Kovalev. That's what you do. Want to cement your legacy. Now... His legacy is becoming a bit defined by Canelo Alvarez. Not good. Triple G, does he have time to? Hey, Google, how old is Gennady Golovkin? Gennady Golovkin is 37 years old. Oh, 37 years old. How much time does he have? Should he spend that time fighting Munguia, 22-year-old rising star? Or should he get that hardware from Andre? You guys want me to have a belt first. Andre has one. Let me walk through him. Why not? Oh, is he ducking? That's the question. I want you guys to comment below. Let me know what you think. Here's my thing. Does he have time? You're talking about a guy who is as good as everybody else. Hard puncher, good boxer, crazy chin. He can go down in history. You look at his resume, not just that. The fights he didn't take that were there. Charlo, there. Andre, he's there. Andre Ward was there. What happened? Are you going to do this again, Triple G? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you think he's ducking. I'll tell you this. Showbiz the adult. If he doesn't fight Andre, <laughs> that's a duck move. I'm out. Huh.